talked about the inside game, all four of their leaders in the paint. And the backcourt for Arizona State really contributed very little. Smith with five points. Collins, their guard, number 20, playmaking guard, did not score. Of course, Legree on the other side of the uh, coin did not score either in the first half. That's right. And, you know, you and I, along with everybody else here, would like to extend our best wishes and get well soon to Ron Steiner, the doc, out of the hospital. And I'm sure he'll be back in action soon. And uh, matter of fact, we got to visit with Al Caruso. Coin did not score either in the first half. That's right. And you know, you and I, along with everybody else here, would like to extend our best wishes and get well soon to Ron Steiner, the doc, out of the hospital. And I'm sure he'll be back in action soon. And uh, matter of fact, we got to visit with Al Caruso from the uh, people from the Fiesta Bowl. And he wanted to say hello to Ron Steiner and Bill Olson and everybody back in Louisville. And what a great memories we had here. You just thought about it when we walked in. The basketball arena is right next to the football stadium. And what a great day that was on January 1 a couple of years ago. One of the greatest days in the history of UofL football when they shellacked Alabama on New Year's Day. And we're playing in the shadows of that stadium right now. Bennett, or rather, Faulkner took steps. And so the turnover will give it back to Louisville. And the Cards now down by 11 points, certainly not out of it, but needing to put a run together at the beginning of their second half. I think it'll be very important for Louisville. You know, Al Caruso to finish that up. A lot of special feelings for Louisville out here and the fans and, and what they did with the ball game. So they were glad to see Louisville get on the basketball schedule. It's going to be a good series. Arizona State, Bill Frieder, great recruiter, fine coach. He'll be bringing his team into Louisville to face Denny Crum and the Cardinals in the next two years. Next two games are in Louisville. Now Denny Crum trying to get the cards to get it together and get back into this game. Here's Everett Sullivan wide open and has the ball spin out of the hoop on you're not going to get a better shot than that. Cards have had some problems hitting layups lately. Concentration, just making sure you kiss it off the glass at the right time. Smith cut off. They left the line. The pick number 24, Les Juneau. He's got four points now, 42 to 29. Out of bounds, it'll be Cardinals basketball. The Cardinals had a trip out here to some fans. Also, a uh, young man, Jack Holmes from Louisville, currently resides here in Arizona. He wanted to say hello to all his buddies back in Louisville. How about this weather, huh? Hey, it's not bad at all. <laughs> the 70s and sun. In ball, inbounds pass, intercepted by Collins. They tried to loft it to Boer, and Boer comes back and steals it away and makes up for the other turnover. Everett Sullivan tried to get a pass off, but could not, and missed as another short jump. And a four on two and didn't convert. And then, with an interception. And he goes all the way for the slam. That's like a freight train moving after when he comes down the lane. That's like the road runner. There is no finesse in that move. <laughs> he moves so quick, I thought there was a road runner going across the desert out there. 42 to 31, down by 11, 18-10 to go, second half. Collins double, team flips it out to Bennett. Drives right around Holden. Slops up the shot, no good, and Faulkner hooks it. Ten points for Jamal Faulkner out of Brooklyn, New York. Yeah, Louisville really worked hard that time, hoping to get Bennett the charge. There was contact, no call, but Bennett did a good job of finding the open Faulkner. Back to a 13-point lead. Now the Sun Devils on the break. Montana is fouled. They're trying to decide who they're going to put this foul on, I believe. Wants to know why the technical was fouled against his player. Of course, Frieder's not going to get on the cover of GQ, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen his, safe bet, huh? his tie <laughs> ever pull that. But you know what? He loves it. He really does. And they love him. Brewer has two foul shots for the technical. And James Brewer, 88% foul shooter. Hits it. He's got one more. It's now 45 to 32. Cardinals trailing. A rare miss by James Brewer from the foul line. 17-38 to go in this game. 45-32, Arizona State by 13. Sun Devils' biggest lead was 16. Louisville gets the ball on the benefit of the technical foul. Boyle's shot hammered and blocked by 
Blake Bennett. Blivett has already set the block shot record here for a freshman. Came into this with 50 some odd dunks and 43 blocks on the season. He knows how to do it. Arizona State has hit three of ten at the charity line, so they really would have a lot more breathing room if they would just shoot the, their percentage on the air, 60 something percent. Still hanging on to a 13 point lead. As the cards have not made a run yet in the second half. See, they're, they're fronting now inside. And the Cardinals have some chances here to cut into this lead. And they go Bennett on Holden. And Kip Stone, number 20, the sophomore. Hard will direct the attack. Ball knocked out of bounds, low the ball. An interesting lineup that Coach Crumb has in there now. Actually, well, you can almost say there are three guards because Webb plays both a guard and a forward. But he's not been getting anything out of Legree or Sullivan, so Coach Crumb looking for the right combination. Miner will work inside. Lost the shot. Rebound loose. Miner fights for it and got it. Now there's going to be a jump ball call, and the possession arrow will be pointing to the Tell you what, Greg Miner tied up his sneakers tight the night when he took the floor. I mean, he has played very, very hard. He's been a real bright spot for the Cardinals. They see Holden tried to put it down on the floor. That's why he lost it. Look at Miner, though, hustling after that loose ball. That actually never was tied up there. I don't know how they called that a hell ball. There you see three fouls on And they bring Smith back into the lineup. And they're also going to bring Galisco off of the bench. 25. So they realized that was three on Faulkner. Bill Frieder going to protect him a little bit here. Now two team fouls on Arizona State and three on U of L. Cardinals trail by 13, 53 to 40. 12 minutes and 35 seconds left. Get it to Wingfield. He just couldn't get the shot off. Donaldson, he's hit one out there tonight. Missed that one. Hart's dominating the board, but Hopgood lost the hand, has to take it away, and then kicks it out of bounds. Things just getting a little bit sloppy for the cards. Now, Bennett, the freshman, struck first-year player Brian Hopgood. Hopgood gets the rebound here after Wingfield had it. That was a clean play. You can see Bennett and then Brian Hopgood kicked it out. Kevin Smith. 44, the guard. Kalisco drives the paint. He hits the paint. Everett Sullivan with a chance here on the break, and he missed it. That would have been a heck of a shot by Everett Sullivan if he had made, made it. There was a case, though, where Everett on the drive, he has good leaping ability if he would have stopped. Watch this. You see the penetration knocked loose by Winfield. Now watch Everett Sullivan here. Right here, David. He could have stopped, put up a little flip shot. It's off balance, didn't get it. Collins, number 20, got the foul. We'll be back. Well, Frieder left. It could have been his championship team, but his team plays great defense, and he gets the players, I'll tell you right now. The Cardinals not uh, faring too well at the line tonight. They are now down by 12 as Stone missed the free throw. He's got a 53-41 lead for Arizona State. Cardinals trailed by 11 at halftime and have not been able to get closer than that in the second half. So now ASU can afford to be somewhat disciplined and run some of that shot clock down, try to get somebody screening down low to get them open. Well, let's go for a three. They yeah, work the clock down and then fire a three. Yeah, Bill Frieder didn't like that shot at all. He was upset. Not the point of what they were trying to do. 53 to 41 as the clock now moves inside 11 minutes. You see Arizona State's field goal for shooting at the 50% mark. Morton again has one come out on. That's top shooting there. Smith kicks it back to Collins for three. And Winfield, protecting the ball well, gets the rebound. Cardinals again with a chance to cut into this lead. Everett Sullivan goes the baseline. The foul is called on Arizona State. 
think Bill Frieder knows that this is a talented Louisville team that can found quite a home here in the Tempe, Phoenix area. Everett Sullivan has struggled here. That's three points for Everett Sullivan, who averages just under 15 a game. He goes to the bench. Miner is in, Legree is in, along with Hopgood and Brewer. But amazingly, Louisville has still had an opportunity to hang right in this game, despite the fact they're not getting a good balance that Coach Trump said was so important for his team to play well that we saw in that VCU win the other night. Near the halfway point of the game in the second half. Gray tries for the steal. The Cardinals made a good run in the first half and closed it down to within nine points. Have not been able to do that here in the second half against Arizona State. There's the block. And now the cards on the run. See, they fronted inside again, and they tried to force it inside. Hopgood was funny then. And Lagree lost a handle on it, turns around and commits a foul. Lagree's had a rather frustrating game. Yeah, he has. And, you know, it is, he played 27 minutes in the last out of the game. You had 10 points, three rebounds, two steals, and two assists, and hit two of three from three-point land. So he was very productive. Just has not been able to get in the flow of things here. Arizona State leads by 11. Nine and a half minutes to go. The Sun Devils have only scored five points since the 17-38. Yeah, they've had opportunities, but they've all been pretty much at the charity strike. And see, they're frustrated now because Louisville is fronting inside, and they can't get the ball inside to Bennett and Faulkner. That's why and Neal. Neal's trying to get the position now. They've scored eight points since the 17-38 mark. Now nine minutes to go. So the last eight minutes, Arizona State's only added eight points to the board, and Loyal has failed to cut into the lead. Everything is just really falling apart for Arizona State right now. They're frustrated because they can't get it in the paint. Brewer hits the three. Now maybe this will be what Loyal needs to turn it on. Cut it to an eight-point game, 53 to 45. The first tray for the Cardinals in the game, and it comes as a momentum buster because Arizona State's really struggling with the offense now because they have the interior game taken away, and Bill Frieder wants to talk about it, I think. And they've done it with their defense and getting Brewer into the flow of the offense. That what they needed to do is frustrate Arizona State, and they've really done that. Now he caught the ball. Now they got Morton on the foul. That's probably the first time in the last four or five minutes that Arizona State has been able to even catch the ball inside because watch, Morton here didn't front. Now he's trying to fight around. He slaps it, went right across the arm on Neal. But that was created because Dwayne wasn't fortunate enough to get on the other side. They got him with four. They got him with four. Scoreboard here says third. We're trying to get that squared away. That's 16 foul. We got a stats monitor, we know. <laughs> We don't have the privilege of one of those guys. Jamal Faulkner with the ball outside. Shot clock at 34. Game clock 648. And the lead, six points for Arizona State. See, but Arizona State's now really beginning to spread it out a little bit more, trying to set some picks. Collins threw it away. Yeah. They're confused. They are really frustrated. They don't know what to do. Bill Frieder took the timeout. He said penetrate. They tried to penetrate, and they weren't looking for the dump ball pass. They have not scored a point in the last six or seven minutes. The Royals got a golden opportunity right now. Morton he shut him off. Tried to hold him. Back to Dwayne Morton, who has not had the shooting eye tonight. Kipstone knocks it away. Great play by Kipstone on defense. What a slam. A six foot four stone now with two points, 53 to 49. Cardinals have cut a 16 point lead down to four. But Kip created it. He should have been the beneficiary of the basket in the world. Neal flips over to Bennett. Super Mario, not so super with that one. Rebound Cardinals. It's minor. Sullivan, the break over to Morton for the jam, and the Cardinals are within two. 53 51. Timeout, Bill Frieder in Arizona State. The Sun Devils 
have lost the lead, and the Cardinals are celebrating. Okay, they say we are back in. With one loss, Little at five and four, tied with UNC Charlotte, but lost today. Arizona State will keep the ball. Here's the deal. It's 53 to 51, Arizona State. A timeout on the court. Five minutes and 43 seconds to play in this game. Arizona State has not scored in over seven minutes. Little has outscored the Sun Devils 11 to nothing. And what happened right there is they couldn't get the ball in bounds, so instead of giving up the ball on the turnover, they took the timeout. And I believe that is the uh, final timeout for Arizona State. I think they've taken three in the game. Now the Cardinals have really came back strong in this one, and you can see it's some exciting basketball here. And as we mentioned, in Freedom Hall, Roger Berkman and the rest of the Cardinals. His team has gone seven minutes plus without scoring a point. There's Bennett missing, and the Cardinals came out of, the, of that situation with the rebound. Inbounds. Can they get it in this time? Yes to Fontana. We are back and play here. Arizona State brings it up court. Five and a half minutes to go. The Louisville run. We kept saying, Don, that Louisville was, had some opportunities, and finally they've started to take advantage of it. Turnover, it's going to be Louisville's basketball. Out of bounds. And we did find out that was the final timeout for Arizona State. Louisville has two left, and that could be crucial. Down the stretch here, still with five minutes and change remaining. It is a two-point game, a two-point lead for the Sun Devils. You can just see Louisville's confidence level rising over this 11-0 run. Sullivan got it! Fourth point for Everett Sullivan, who has not had a good shooting night. Hits that basket to tie it at 53. Quite a comeback, but it all started from the defensive end. And now they're right back in it, and they're playing with some confidence. As you mentioned, David, you can see it in their face. 13 to nothing run for the Cardinals. Arizona State, since 12.48 in the half, and now 4.45 to go, has not scored. They still haven't scored. Holden with a basketball. The minor. The Sullivan. He almost lost that. Well, now the Cardinals have a chance to take the lead. And they have not had the lead in this game. It's been tied once at 2-2. Two to two. Miner tried to drive, couldn't do it on Ronaldson. The crowd and Bill Frieder wanted the foul. They didn't get it. Shot clocks at 12 seconds. Ball thrown away by Sullivan. And Arizona State Smith driving and he missed it, but it's followed in good. By Fontana. 55-53 by the Sun Devils by two. Took a big follow-up by the sophomore. He's their gunniest player, and he came through with a big play there. Now you can feel Arizona State turning it up a notch. The crowd is getting behind the Sun Devils. And Royal looks a bit confused on offense. They get it in. Kip Stone in the paint. That's not the shot you want. And now Arizona State with the ball. They really need transition. Now Louisville needs to score. They're down by two, 55 to 53. Double team, Kip Stone to Sullivan. In the paint, Sullivan no good, but Miner with a rebound. And Holden says, come on out and let's settle down with 40 seconds on the shot clock. 3-11 on the game clock. Twenty-eight seconds on the shot clock. And wide open is Miner to lay it in. 13 for Miner, 55 all. Tremendous patience and a good screen down on the block, allowed Miner to get open. They ran the Denny Crum offense to perfection. They did, and they were patient enough to wait for the screens to unfold and leave Miner there for the easy one. Game is tied for the third time. They leave Ronaldson out there for a three. The rebound, Sullivan got it, and the Cardinals again with a chance for a four to take the lead. They had to wait for Kipstone to tie his shoelace in backcourt. 32 seconds on the shot clock. Two minutes and 13 seconds you see on the game clock at the bottom of your screen. Remember, the Cardinals have never had the lead in this game. Kipstone, 18 seconds on the shot clock. 
Sullivan drives and banks it in. Clutch plays by Everett Sullivan now with six points. A minute 53, and the Cards have their first lead of the night at 57 to 55. And it came just as we moved under the two-minute mark. And these, now, these folks are tired out there. Look at them. Both teams. And now, the Sun Devils, with no timeouts left, a minute 35 to go, are trying to come back and tie the game for the first time. Smith, a round stone hits a wall, and they're going to call a charge on Smith. Who was there? Greg Miner. He has been the unsung hero in this game. Watch Smith, a great explosion, but watch Miner, 21. He's there, he absorbs the blow. That shot was knocked back in Smith's face anyway. Great job by Miner, and Stone goes out along with Miner, and those guys are absolutely exhausted, and Denny Crump wisely is gonna use one of his two timeouts left to get his team a little rest here and map out the strategy at 127. Miner could hardly hold his head up as he went to the huddle. He's so tired, but the Cardinals, it's been a hard fight, but they've come back to take a two-point lead at 57 to 55. No timeouts left, as you mentioned, for Bill Frieder's Sun Devils of Arizona State. A minute 27 to go as the Cardinals get a rest. This Pepsi preview will remind you of our upcoming telecast. You'll see Tulane and Louisville from New Orleans. And that's live at 8.30 on the 27th of February, this next Thursday. Then live next Saturday on the 29th at Southern Mississippi at 3 p.m. And the regular season wraps up at Freedom Hall on March the 7th. Arizona. And it's Holden that will put the ball in play as we come back. The official tells the players on the Arizona State bench to sit down, and they did. Arizona State scored only six points in the last 14 minutes of this one. Sullivan to hold. To Morton, back out to Brewer against Collins. 1-12 in the game, 28 seconds on the shot clock. They'll look to try to get something inside setting a bunch of picks down on the block. Once they get into the flow of the offense here, plenty of time on the shot clock. Cardinals lead by two with the ball, 17 on the shot clock. There's the foul to stop it on Fontana, number 31. They're not in a bonus yet, though. They had that foul to give. I'll tell you another factor, David. Both teams will eventually be in the bonus on the next foul, but we're not to that two-shot situation, what they call the super bonus yet. That could be important here in the last 57-4. That's all that's left. 57 seconds and Miner on the inbounds. Over to Sullivan. 44 seconds as the shot clock resets. Sullivan. Dangerous pass out to midcourt by Morton. Brewer slipping. 43 seconds on the game clock and it's thrown out of bounds by Brewer. Trying to get it to Everett Sullivan. And that gives Arizona State the ball with 41 seconds to go. The yeah. shot clock is turned off. Yeah, Denny Crum really upset. 24th turnover, but that may be the most costly one. Now the fans will cheer on Arizona State. Let's see what they do with the offense. I would be surprised if they still don't try to get it inside. <laughs> 24 seconds. You see the clock winding down. Frieder tells his team, okay, go to it. Well, you'd want to get it to Bennett, but he's a, not a very good free throw shooter. So what do you do here? Still the frustration. No timeouts. They can't stop the game. Well, the lead just by two. A three could win it. That's a two-pointer. Call. That's the top of the game. Timeout worth a three point six seconds to go. Lynn Collins' first basket of the game. And he shot because he had to. He had no choice but to shoot, but Louisville gave it up on the turnover, gave Arizona State the chance, and Collins, watch him here. It's winding down, Brewer's on him, pretty good defense, didn't want a foul, and he just flips it up, and that's his first hoop, as you said, David, in the game. Different angle, but watch it. That's a tough shot, he was off balance, had no rebounding position, but Louisville still has 3.6 seconds left. Now, Arizona State, they obviously want to try to deny the ball, not let Louisville get it up and get any kind of shot off. The other thing Arizona State does not want to do is foul because both teams would be in the bonus situation. Big basket there by that young man, Lynn Collins, the only senior 
and he hit the big basket when they needed it. And he had nothing else to do with it, and that's not what Bill Frieder wanted out of his offense. I promise you that. Well, there are 3.6 seconds to go for Denny Crum to see if he can plot a strategy that could successfully put a point or two on the board to prevent an overtime. It's been quite a ball game. Louisville has to be very careful that they don't commit a turnover here and give it back to ASU. Bill Frieder is out of timeouts. He has been for some time. He's already fortunate. I guarantee you he knows he's fortunate if this game goes into overtime. But it's not over yet. They're going to put Bennett applying the pressure, the tallest player for ASU on Minor. They spread out and deploy on the court. The time, 3.6 seconds to go. Tie game. Sullivan whips one up off the backboard. Get it, put it back on. Oh, good! Does it count? No. The official says, oh, it's not him. Oh, my goodness. What a shot that was by Sullivan. Sullivan got the rebound and threw it up. The official is not going to listen to the pleas of Eric Sullivan and Denny Crum. They're telling loyal players to go back to the bench. Unbelievable. He grabbed the rebound and threw it up. Let's look at it and see. There's the shot in desperation that hit the side of the backboard. Off balance. It's good, but it doesn't count. See, now watch it. Here's where we'll see it. It winds down and watch the red light behind here. Sullivan gets it. He, nope, he didn't let it go. That was the right call. He did not let that go. So the officials were correct. He did not get the shot off in time. Just a split second away from winning the basketball game on that shot. He should have shot that one the first time. He took the shot with some time left. And Bill Frieder, you talk about a guy that has to feel like he dodged a bullet. He dodged a couple of them right there. We're going to OT. A five-minute overtime period now for these two teams. As Frieder and Crum pluck the prop, the strategy for the overtime. Now, David, you know, we've talked about the excitement of this game, and we're going to see more of that at the Metro Conference Tournament. And uh, we've talked a lot about how you can order your tickets tonight, but a reminder, once again, it's both the men and women's tournament. An interesting schedule for tickets. Those Cardinal fans that are here feel good about the comeback. But ASU really dropped off in their shooting. Only 43% now in the game to Louisville's 47. But ASU did the important thing. Even though they blew the big lead, they got the game to overtime. Anytime you're in overtime, the home team has the advantage. And now we begin the overtime tied at 57. We come to you from the University Activity Center on the campus of Arizona State, Tempe, Arizona. Louisville's had the lead in this game just one time. And that was a 57 to 55. 19 on the shot clock. Twelve on the shot clock. For Sullivan, 10, 9, 8, 7. Morton hits it. Six points by Morton, and Louisville leads 59 to 57. The press. Four, 10 to go in OT. See what Arizona State does. They didn't have any success in the last 15 minutes of the regulation to get the ball inside because Louisville doing a good job on that defense. Louisville has lost its only overtime game. ASU in its first OT of the year. Missed shot. Picked up by the Cardinals and so Louisville with a two-point lead and the basketball. Not a common feeling for the Cardinals tonight who have been down and battled their way back until the very close of this game. They try to get Brewer on a backdoor play and he was on the baseline out of bounds. Arizona State gets it. Who got there and instead of grabbing the ball and trying to grasp it with both hands, he tried to dribble it, and that's when he hit the paint. Bill Frieder, <laughs> if he had that tie up earlier, I guarantee it would have been loose by now. His team has really, really struggled here in the second half. Cardinals putting on the pressure. Sullivan bumping into Collins. No call. Collins off-balance shot. Missed, and Sullivan's got the rebound. He missed that one, didn't he? 
safe shot he made to tie the game in regulation. Brewer, three-pointer, in and out. Holden going for the rebound, but Arizona State has got it. Over to Faulkner, taken away by Brewer. What a steal by James Brewer, and he hit the shot. Well, Brewer has been a big factor in this game, David. He really has. He picked up the scoring load in the backcourt. 12 points for Brewer, coming off the bench. A three-pointer, three field goals, and a free throw in this half. Louisville up by four, 2.50 to go in overtime. <laughs> we say these teams were a lot alike. Breather Tick gets the timeout. Collins looks like he can hardly take another step. He is limping over to the sideline to talk to Bill Frieder. The Cardinals are on top. Their biggest lead of the game in overtime. Louisville by four. <laughs> and you can call tonight to buy your ticket. We're in overtime. 61 to 57. 245 to go. And Louisville up by four. David Sullivan and Don Russell with you from the University Activity Center at Arizona State in Tempe, Arizona. Of course, for people that don't know, when you go into an overtime, each team picks up an additional timeout. That's why Frieder was able to stop it. I think he's just really concerned that his team is, doesn't have this continuity in his offense and doesn't really know what to do with the ball now. They're trying to get it to Bennett. Now they put Faulkner outside once again. He hasn't scored much uh, here lately. He's trying to get the ball in the wing. You know, Bennett's only scored one basket this second half. And Collins shot one in. in. He's running and laying it up. He made two big baskets for Arizona State when nobody else with all their talent could come to the forefront. It was the senior that's gotten the job done. Two minutes, 17 seconds. You see the clock in overtime here at Arizona State. The turnover. And now the Sun Devils with a chance to tie the game. Smith with the great defense. He leads the Pac-10 in assists and steals, and you can see why. They move inside two minutes in the overtime. The shot clock's at 23. Holden trying to front Bennett inside the paint. Here's Collins. He's been the guy that's really kept him the senior. That was a bad shot with 10 seconds on it. But Bennett hits the shot. His second field goal in the second half. We're tied again. You know, it's been a long time since the talented freshman even touched the ball. Now he's got the crowd back in. We're all even with a minute 18 to go. Everett Sullivan needed help, but the foul is called on Arizona State. The official makes the call. You know, the Cardinals have been in so many close games. Five of the eight losses have been when the Cardinals were within four points with three minutes remaining. But here you see... A wild shot by Collins. Bennett hadn't touched the ball, I bet, in seven minutes. There he gets the follow-up, and they need to get him into the throw. Now Louisville has to hit the free throw. Everett Sullivan, a 76% free throw shooter. Louisville by one, 62 to 61. A minute 17 to go as Denny Crum instructs his players on the court. Sullivan with his second shot. Little by two, 63-61. Miner glancing up at the clock as he moved to a minute in overtime. Collins looking to try to go one-on-one, -on -one, perhaps. He does, tries to get by Miner, but Miner cut him off. 20 seconds, shot clock, moving down into 15. Collins wants to go one-on-one -on -one and got open. Two-pointer, missed it. Rebound. Faulkner is fouled by Holden, I believe. That's a good foul there, though. Faulkner got the offensive rebound. Don't give him the stick back. If it's going to be the sure thing, Collins, again, he's the only guy doing anything. Missed the shot. Strong rebound by Faulkner, and they get the hammer job. Goes on Morton, that's his fourth. Seventh team foul, and here goes Faulkner. Make him earn him. 62% foul shooter, not a good one, and that's it. It's been a bugaboo for this team. Yeah, and now Bill Frieder's team's in overtime when his club's even more tired than they are already were. That's when it's really difficult to hit your free throws, especially after a big emotional game that they had on Thursday. 
Faulkner hits one out of the two. Arizona State trails by one point. 63-62. 40 seconds to go. Got to break the press. Arizona State, if they don't get the steal, will foul, and they foul immediately. Bennett fouls Kip Stone. Now they're going to put Stone on the line, and he's been hitting at 65% for the season. But Kip Stone hit the one that he had in this half. One and the bonus for Stone. Loyola leads by one point. 36 seconds left. A costly miss by Kip Stone, because now Arizona State's got the ball and a chance to win. No timeouts. A basket here would give Arizona State the game. They are down by one. Shot clock is turned off. Collins goes to work and shoots over Stone and it. And there is Holden foul. I believe by Bennett with 10 seconds to go. I'll tell you what, Louisville's defense has totally taken Bill Frieder's club out of its offense. Collins is the guy they want to run the offense, hand out assists, play pressure defense. They don't want him to shoot the ball, David. Right now, he's the only guy. He gets an advantage here. Kip Stone falls down. He misses an eight-foot jumper. Great, strong rebound by the corn man. That big time. And if he can make these free throws, Cardinals in pretty good shape. The fact that Bennett, Mario Bennett, built the lead in the first half for Arizona State with that strong inside play has escaped Arizona State in the second half. They keep going to Collins for one-on-one -on -one play. Hold it. Another missed free throw. You got to do something with it. Five seconds to go. Smith in the front court. Driving, can't get the shot off. He walked. in. It's not over. Point two seconds to go. And Debris is being thrown out onto the court from the stand. Louisville just has to get the ball in bounds, but first, Denny Crum's going to take the timeout. Now they're Something throwing else. paper and debris onto the floor and hey. booing. It's not, hey, these fans need to get a clue. Ice is coming out onto the floor. It's not the officials that committed the turnover. Arizona State has been totally out of sync since about 14 minutes left in the game. There you see the fight for the rebound here, David. Now, Arizona State, look, there's only six seconds left. They got Bennett braided up. Now they finally get it off to Smith. He's the guy that needs to think about shooting. Here he's trying to shoot, runs by Holden, and they call a travel there. They call the travel there. It was tough to see from that angle. All you see is the celebration from Holden. Now, from this angle, let's see. He's got to be thinking about shooting the ball right here. He tries to stop when he puts the dribble. A little stutter step there. I don't know. It looked like he walked there. But anyway, Arizona State was not in a good position to know what to do. They just well, did not have a clue. Point two seconds is what is left. And Louisville has a one-point lead. 63 to 62. We've had a... A soft drink can thrown onto the floor. The first time I've seen that. Well, I think Arizona State lost its focus at halftime. They, you know, kind of went through the motions, had an 11-point lead, didn't make their free throws. Bill Frieder, you know, he can't do it all for him. He can coach him. Denny Crum has to be proud of this Cardinal team, the way they've come back. They've lost some real tough games on the road. Maybe they'll get this one. Got to get it inbounds here. That's what they have to do. And they do. It's over. The horn sounds. It's all over. And Louisville in overtime beats Arizona State 63 to 62. And the Cardinals pick up their 16th win of the year against eight losses, while Arizona State will drop to 15 wins and 10 losses. Denny Crum and Bill Frieder locked into a close game tonight. Is it in? with the Papa John's play of the game. That gave Louisville a four-point lead, and they win it in OT by one. Okay, and Louisville indeed a 63-62 victor tonight in overtime over Arizona State. The Cards now 16-8, and eight, continue their road trip. They got a couple of road games coming up before they come back to Freedom Hall to beat Virginia Tech. And so another one in the win column for Louisville. And that wraps everything up from Tempe, Arizona tonight. Executive producers of Cardinal Basketball are Gary Bockhorst and Roy C. Hamlin, Jr.
Tonight's game produced by Chris DeMeo. Directed by Lou Renoni. David Sullivan and Don Russell saying so long from Tempe, Arizona.